Hey, what's up, everybody? Spike Man Dan coming at you live yet again. Welcome back. Today, we're going to do a video tutorial on the do's and don'ts of chain tightening on your Coleman CTU 100s and basically any other type of Coleman bike you have. So, with that being said, stick around. We're going to show you what to do and what not to do. Alright everybody, so as you can see, I've got my chain guard all rat rotted out. I have managed to cut off the, uh, give you a little close up. I left the whole chain guard intact, but I did something cool and I cut out the outer piece, thus giving the uh, clutch and the flywheel more air breathing space and it, it just looks cool, you know. But onward and forward to the issue of over tightening your chain. If you notice, the teeth on the sprocket are slightly curved up. Now that can only be from one reason. And that's over tightening your chain. Because when the, when the engine is pulling around the sprocket and it's going into high torque, Especially a high, higher um, RPM, sorry. But uh, yeah, that, that's basically what the result of your sprocket is going to look like. These teeth should be perfectly straight. But because of my chain getting loose on me, I don't know if it's just the chain loosening up on the motor mounts those bolts right there that hold the engine down you know I'm pretty sure that was the case is like as tight as I got them the engines always gonna rattle itself loose so from time to time you may need to tighten your chain just by simply loosening up your engine mounts sliding the engine forward just a little you know not too much Otherwise, this is the result of your sprocket. You get the teeth starting to bend upwards. And that's just, just the result, the classic case of too tight of a chain. And I know in my past videos I said I had little to no slack. Well, you might want a little more slack than what I showed you in the previous videos because that's not a good thing. Bent upward teeth, that is, that's just tearing the hell out of your sprocket. So, yeah, um, back on to the uh, rat rod thing going on here. That just looks cool as hell. I'm not going to lie right there. Like, I'm not sure what this is about. I think that's having too loose of a chain. When I was going around a turn, uh, specifically just left turns only, I never noticed it on a right turn, but when I went around a left turn, I sometimes heard the chain binding up and kind of making a grinding sound, and I'm pretty sure that's the result of this case. But it made a pretty awesome pattern. Nice little swirl mark. So yeah, with that being said, you do not want to over tighten your chain. Don't ever do that because that could actually snap your chain. And if you have too loose of a chain, I'm guessing this is what happens. You get that weird swirl mark that actually looks pretty cool. I'm not going to lie, that's, that's something else. Well, I hope you all really enjoyed that little video montage of the uh, Coleman CTU 100. My name is Spike Man Dan. You can find me at www.youtube.com forward slash Spike Man Dan. It's all one word, not hard to find. And it is spelled S P I K E M A N D A N. And just go ahead and give me a like and don't forget to subscribe as always. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Do not over tighten your chains.